Hi, it's Gwyneth here on a fabulous Feel Good Friday, as ever, doing my very best to ensure that you feel comfortable about being you when it comes to marketing yourself, when it comes to selling your services, without feeling completely salesy and yucky and self-sabotage and all that stuff. Now, on the subject of self-sabotage, I want to talk today about something called the upper limit problem. It's something that a very, very good author by the name of Dr. Gay Hendricks addresses in his book, The Big Leap. And it's all about how we manage to sabotage ourselves on a frequent basis whenever we are potentially going to do something new, going to do something bigger, more exciting. Even if you're an entrepreneur and you've been working, 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 working all year and you suddenly decide, you know what, I deserve a weekend away. You're getting ready and you're really, really excited and then you can't find your passport anywhere. And I want to talk about it this week because I have put yogurt on my laptop. I have dropped my printer and smashed it. I was filling up the bird bath, which is made of concrete and it just disintegrated in my hands. This backdrop behind me split into two. And today, when I was doing my fabulous feel good videos, I did I did about a total of eight videos for something else as well. And I came to put them on my laptop and, and uh, edit them and, and do everything. And there was no sound. And upon close inspection, I saw that my microphone was broken because I folded it up so many times and wound up the wire so many times. The wire's just broken. Well, I didn't notice that before I was doing. So I don't want to tell you even how many times I've attempted to do this video today. But next time something goes wrong, instead of just blaming it on yourself, which is a lot of you know, what a lot of people do actually do. Oh, so stupid. I knew where it was. Why didn't I look for my passport beforehand? Um, why didn't I take better care of, of the printer? Um, why, why was I even eating anywhere near my laptop? I usually don't do it. All this kind of self chat that goes on. Next time, ask yourself, what is it actually that you are preventing yourself from doing? Is it a new business venture? Is it something really exciting? Now, next week, I'm going to be holding a webinar on Wednesday, precisely on how it is that you can have those sales conversations without feeling Ugh. And I haven't held a webinar for a very, very long time. So today it was hand on forehead moment where I realized, yeah, okay, on a subconscious level, something is telling me, Gwyneth, you can't do this. Nobody's going to turn up. Well, I know that you're going to turn up because I'm telling you about it now. So if you'd like to join me next Wednesday, you can find the link uh, below in the comments to be able to sign up. You just have to pop in your name, pop in your email address, and I'll send you all the details. We're going to be talking about sales conversations that convert into business but where you're not feeling salesy, where you are not self-sabotaging the brilliant ideas, the brilliant services, work that you want to do to serve others. So I'm getting over my upper limit problem. <laughs> it's been quite a week and I would absolutely love it if you decided to, to come and join me for the webinar next Wednesday. As I said, all the details will be on the page when you click on the comments, on the link in the comments below. Crikey, we're really going to get through this, where I'm going to be talking about sales conversations that convert, that convert in your business for you so that you are not self-sabotaging, you're not feeling sick, you're not feeling salesy, all those things. And I promise that by next Wednesday, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. I've already ordered myself a new microphone and, and life is going to be good. So on that note, I wish you a fabulous Feel Good Friday, an amazing weekend, loads of love and bye for now.